What's happening, fam? LA All Movement still moving. Subscriber dot trying. You see the thumbnail, right? So guess who has to um, deal with the colorism thing? Dad. So some of y'all don't know. Recently, I got custody of my son. So I don't know why this keeps coming up, but the light skin, dark skin thing has been happening. And last night it happened again. And I was thinking about it like, you know what? We're going to have to do something about this. You know, because I was clowning, joking like, oh, you just want to be white so bad. You know, he told me he's mixed. And I, I'm, I'm black. His mother's black. His grandmother and his grandfather on his mother's side are black. His grandmother and grandfather on his father's side are black. But his great-grandmother's white on his mother's side and his great-grandfather's black on his mother's side and my in his great-grandmother and grandfather on my side are black but somehow he's mixed <clears throat> so when we've had these discussions before talking in the space about colorism and it being passed down predominantly from moms you know you gotta have that good hair they got the good eyes and blah 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 you know people go huh but being a parent in this situation, it's like, it's a I told you so moment, like, because it's stupid. I'm going to tell you why it's stupid. Because in in essence, these are the seeds that are planted for all you ladies who, who say the guys want exotic looking women and light skinned women. But you don't never, you don't talk about this part, you know. Why do they like white women? Uh, because you told them, you know, that Thomas Jefferson was their great, 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 great grandfather, you know, but you told them that R. Kelly was bad. So, you know, Thomas Jefferson good because he white. R. Kelly bad because he black. They're nowhere in the same wheelhouse of the shenanigans that have, has been pulled, but the white guy gets off. So, part of this is an issue. Like, you know, I wouldn't talk to this chick because she's dark. And people go, well, wait, what? I would talk to her because she looks, you know, a little mixed in this, that, and the third. What? So, when people talk about, man, these guys are colorists and color struck, and I can't say guys aren't color struck. Yeah, because they're guys who definitely are color struck. They like yellow bones, they like red bones. They like chocolate women. You know, that's their preference. But what I can say is, guess who has to deal with it? Guess who has to try to deprogram it? And unfortunately, uh, it's very hard to deprogram because it starts so early. See, I was having these conversations with him when he was like four. You know, I'm good because I'm light and you're bad because you're dark. Where'd you get that from? <laughs> you know, but I got a quick wit. So I was like, dude, you, you are Kelly light. You know, you lighten on camera, but you're dark in person, but whatever. And, he, and this is why people don't want to be out in the sun. Like, I've literally dated women who didn't want to go outside in the summertime because I was going to get darker. Somehow that was going to change, you know, who they were as a person. It, it, it didn't make sense, but it, it, it happens. Um, but guess who has to deal with this? So now, you know, when you assume that, you know, people are dark skinned and jealous of people are light skinned, you're not thinking that maybe, just maybe, I'm gonna have to deal with this with my own kid, that somebody gonna crack him upside his head. Cause he gonna, he gonna say this stuff out in public to somebody and they gonna definitely take offense to it. And they gonna definitely smack him or punch him in the mouth. Definitely. And the people on the other side of that spectrum are definitely gonna be like, oh, we got one. We can use this one. Oh, yeah, his inner coon is, work, is growing. We're going to grow it. Yeah, that's right. We're going to make him feel like he's part of the family, but he's nothing but a whatever, whatever whatever language and race, uh, whatever their derogatory term for his black, you know, whether it's uh, English, Spanish, Arabic, you know, it's, it's going to come out. A, you know, Chinese, Japanese, it's going to come out. Um, but who you think got to deal with that? 
then, then you got to fight to deconstruct it like this is not a good idea because I could have broke his heart and I'm going to have to anyway. Like, you know, your white great-great-grandmother didn't raise your grandmother. She gave her away. <laughs> so you hold this lady in such high esteem because she had a affair with a, she had sex with a black guy and got pregnant, but she wasn't going to raise that black baby at that time. And, you know, she's around the same age as Barack Obama, so you should know the same type of situation. It was racism that caused the baby to get shipped off in the first place. But what are we talking about here? We're talking about colorism, right? Well, who started it? Where did it come from? And, you know, and, and being that I'm born in New Orleans, you know, it's kind of a weird dynamic because people people project being color struck on New Orleans people when New Orleans people see that people outside of New Orleans are color struck because the whole Creole thing for the rest of the United States means from the rest of the United States that's American. Haitians know this better than, you know, know this better than anybody. Creole don't mean light-skinned and, and um, green eyes and gray eyes and all that. It just means a black person and a French person, basically. That's pretty much it. Maybe a Spaniard involved, but that's pretty much it. Color? Mm. It's, it's about hair? Mm. No. No. It's, it, it's just basically your family comes from a, from has has um, spoke French <laughs> and maybe Spanish. You know, that's, that's it. But who do you think has to deconstruct this stuff? Now, when you ladies complain about, I can't believe he doesn't like the, the, the black women. Well, I wonder where he got it from. But that's just my thoughts. I clown. I, I, was, I was telling my lady, I was like, he gonna mess around, be with a dark skinned chick, and then gonna be the only light skinned person in his family, quote unquote. And then he be, like, be a culture shock. <laughs> but like, share, subscribe, or die. Try and peace.